Hello everyone, in the today's video we will create a pull to refresh indicator using Jetpack Compose and Material 3. So as you can see we have a list here and if we pull this down the pull to refresh indicator appears and this should be up for 5 seconds and after that will disappear. And now let's jump into Android Studio and let's implement it. So let's open the Gradle script and now let's click on the libsversions.toml and Let's create the Material 3 version. So Material 3 is equal to 1.4.0 alpha 1. And let's add the version here. So let's say version.ref and let's use the Material 3 version. Make sure that you sync the project and now let's get back into the main activity. Okay, now let's clean up the code a little and let's collapse this and let's also remove the scaffold and now we need to use the pull to refresh box and inside we need to pass the pull to refresh state so let's create it so refresh state is equal to remember pull to refresh state now let's add it here state is equal to refresh state and we need one more variable called is refreshing so is refreshing by remember mutable state of false and let's add it here is refreshing and I forgot to import the required packages okay now let's say is refreshing and the last thing is on refresh now let's create a list that will be displayed in the UI. So let's say roll items is equal to remember and let's create a range from 0 to 40 and let's say to list. Now here we will simulate an API call. So for that we need to get the curtain context from the remember curtain scope. So let's say curtain scope is equal to remember curtain scope. Now let's say team scope dot launch, and here let's say is refreshing is equal to true. Now let's add a delay for five seconds. Let's import the seconds and is refreshing is false. Now we can build the list. So inside of the pull to refresh box, we can create the lazy column, and let's say items. Pass the items list open the curly brackets and we can use the list item and let me check I think he misspelled yeah headline content is text and let's simply pass item it now let's run the application and test it out okay so let's try to refresh this and as you can see this will be up for five seconds and now it's gone and this is how you can create the pull to refresh indicator in jetpack compose and i hope you like this video and i also have a blog on which i'm posting weekly so if you want to expand your knowledge make sure to follow me on that too so see you in the next video or on my blog